Hello, Teacher Alan here, and welcome to our audio presentation on isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic solution. In this session, we'll explore the fascinating world of solutions and their effects on cells. Let's start with the basics. Isotonic solution. An isotonic solution is one in which the concentration of solutes is the same both inside and outside the cell. This means that there is no net movement of water across the cell membrane, resulting in the cell maintaining its shape and size. Imagine a cell suspended in an isotonic solution, such as a normal saline. The concentration of solutes inside the cell is equal to the concentration outside, creating a balanced environment. As a result, water molecules move in and out of the cell at an equal rate, ensuring cellular stability. Next is hypertonic solution. A hypertonic solution has a higher concentration of solutes compared to the concentration inside the cell. In this scenario, water molecules tend to move out of the cell, leading to a decrease in cell volume. Consider a red blood cell in a hypertonic solution. The higher concentration of solutes outside the cell draws water molecules out of the cell through osmosis, causing the cell to shrink and wrinkle. This process is known as crenation. Lastly, hypotonic solution. Conversely, a hypotonic solution contains a lower concentration of solutes compared to the concentration inside the cell. In this case, Water molecules move into the cell, causing it to swell and potentially burst. Visualize a plant cell in a hypotonic solution. The lower concentration of solutes outside the cell results in water diffusing into the cell through osmosis. As a result, the cell swells and the cell membrane pushes against the rigid cell wall, creating turgor pressure. This pressure helps maintain the shape and structure of the plant cell. In summary, isotonic solutions maintain cell shape and size. Hypertonic solutions cause cells to shrink through water loss. And hypotonic solutions cause cells to swell and may lead to bursting, especially in animal cells, or turgor pressure in plant cells. Understanding these concepts is crucial in various fields such as biology, medicine, and chemistry as they help explain phenomena ranging from cellular functions to medical treatments. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope you found it informative and insightful.